Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with the next review of the Fangoria Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. Let Sleeping Corpses Lie is a 1974 horror film, also known as The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue and Don't Open the Window. It has quite a few other alternate titles as well. Sixteen in total, I believe. Oh, and obviously, according to Fangoria, it's one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. It's worth mentioning, though, that those who have seen this one usually hold it in high regard. It still deserves more attention, though. This DVD here was released by Anchor Bay, and I like the fact that they also included the alternate title on the bottom, The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. Let Sleeping Corpses Lie is a Spanish and Italian production. It was filmed in England, though, and the characters all have English accents. It follows a man named George, who, while trying to get home on his motorcycle, meets a woman named Edna. Edna mistakenly backs into his motorcycle while at the gas station. While his bike is repaired, Edna offers to give George a ride. He accepts, but insists that he drives her car. Edna is on the way to her sister Katie's house. Katie is a drug addict, married to a photographer. Her husband would like her to go to a rehab clinic, but Katie does not want to. That's why Edna was on her way there to assist. Although hesitant at first, George agrees to accompany Edna to her sister's house. On the way, they stop at a farm, where George meets a couple of guys experimenting with a new pesticide. It's not a chemical, but a machine that uses ultrasonic radiation. Unbeknownst to them, though, this process wakes the dead. When Edna is almost attacked by a zombie, she and George flee the scene and get back on the road to her sister's house. But when they arrive, Katie's husband is killed by the very same zombie. The detectives on the scene obviously don't believe George and Edna's story. They know Katie is a drug addict, so they assume she killed her husband, and Edna and George helped. As George and Edna try to prove their innocence, more of the dead arise, leaving a trail of bodies. George and Edna are also suspected of these murders, since the police still do not believe them. But the living dead at Manchester Morgue really are roaming the rural area. If only George and Edna can find a way to let sleeping corpses lie. As you guys should already know, I'm not a huge zombie movie fan. I'm pretty hot and cold when it comes to them. There are some I absolutely love, and most others I find overrated. Let Sleeping Corpses Lie is one I really enjoy, though. It's unique in a way. I love the fact that Edna and George are being blamed for the murders happening in the area. It's not like a typical zombie movie when there's a huge zombie horde and everyone knows it's the undead. And speaking of the area, I absolutely love the setting. The rural location was perfect for this film, and it's the one thing I always remember about this movie. There are some good practical effects, as you'd expect from an Italian or Spanish zombie film, and the ending of the movie is very satisfying. Spanish and Italian zombie movie productions definitely have a look to them. Which is why my relatable recommendation is also a Spanish-Italian zombie film. Hell of the Living Dead. This here is also an Anchor Bay release. It's an Anchor Bay drive-in double feature. Hell of the Living Dead is definitely a zombie film, like Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, that does not get enough attention. Have you seen Let Sleeping Corpses Lie? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. What will we watch and review next for the Fangoria Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe. <laughs>